For the last time, she didn't sink because of the Royal Navy. She sank because her crew scuttled her. Yes, and she was scuttled because the Royal Navy hammered her into the dirt, Gisella. It was a minor flesh wound. Do I have to call one of the swordfish family in here? Because I will. Oh, stop it, you two. Does it really matter? She sank regardless. It matters to me. Don't question our Navy. You don't see Momo getting bent out of shape about Yamato or Musashi. I mean, there really isn't any debate surrounding those two. It was clearly American action both times. Speaking of, where's Dallas? I haven't seen her since this morning. Didn't she go on her morning flight with Memphis? Yeah, but she'd usually be back by now. Strange. Dallas never goes for long without telling us. Maybe she said something to Memphis then. Good idea, Freya. I'll go ask. Dallas still isn't back? That's odd. I left our usual flight a bit early. She said she was going to finish the route on her own, but she should be back by now. She didn't say anything about going anywhere else? No, nothing like that. We made our usual small talk, and that was it. It was a normal conversation. Hmm. You worried? A little. Dallas can take care of herself, but with all the strange happenings around here lately. I get it. Well, let me take you on our usual flight path. Maybe we'll find a clue. I don't understand. You are a perfectly capable soldier, Skylar. The agency, the country, would benefit if you'd work with us. I don't know. Well, I'd try to bait you with a decent paycheck. But my understanding is your mother set you up for life. As such, I can offer you the highest security clearance and all the benefits and resources that come with being an agent. Resources? Top secret information, weapons, people, you name it, the agency can get it. Together, we can bring down Cold Throne and avenge your mother. What do you say? Avenge? Mother didn't die because of Cold Throne. She died because of the job you sent her on, that you forced on her. I already said it wasn't- Regardless of your ability to shift the blame, it doesn't matter. I won't work with the same organization that got my mother killed. That took her from me for my entire life. Skylar, please. My answer is no, Azrael. Thanks for the coffee. I'll see myself out. Orion, Aardvark, come back to my office, please. Yes, ma'am. You have new orders for us. Any and all surveillance operations of Skylar Phantom are to be cancelled effective immediately. Focus all activities on learning Cold Throne's next move. As you say, ma'am. I'm guessing Miss Skylar is no longer considered a threat? She is not. She's too good to betray her country. Also too good to work with us. Straight-laced as they come, just like she was when we served together. Keep the museum under security watch but no more invasive surveillance of the residents. I need to find a way out of here. No fuel, no ammo. Walls are thick steel, and this door is sturdy as they come. Damn, there's gotta be a way. What? Swallow, impossible, you're- Oh, right. I completely forgot you two have a bit of history, don't you? Her, her expression is completely blank. What have you done to her? We gave her life again, of course, though unfortunately it hasn't gone smoothly. No thoughts in that little head of hers. Ah, well, she can keep you company while I attend to more important matters. Swallow, your orders still stand. If this one tries to escape, kill her, and don't take any orders from her either. I don't believe this. I watched you die. I killed you myself. Maybe you still are dead. Truthfully, it wasn't what I wanted. When you charged, you didn't give me a choice. I really hoped we could be friends someday. Move past everything. But I guess it makes sense now. Losing a pilot like that would leave a scar that lasts forever. I lost a sister to your family, too. The price of war doesn't leave any of us, I suppose. I'm sorry, Swallow, that I couldn't save you from that. Typical American hero complex. What makes you think I even needed saving? You're the one in the cage. Huh? You're... Fine. Absolutely fine. Those MIGs are too keen to believe they're in control of a situation. I figured you'd be smart enough to see through me, but apparently you're dumber than I thought. You are a remarkable actor. I didn't ask for your opinion. But right now I need information. Where are we? Who are these people? I don't know much either, but... Cold Throne, never heard of them. Skylar's mother was a double agent looking into them. Who? Demon. Demon, the witch was a spy. That's right. She freed you and the others because Cold Throne wanted to use you for something. I don't fully know what the end goal was. Use us, a story I've heard often enough. Everyone wants something. What happened after I died? Where is Sparrow? Oh, she's fine. 
We took her in, but she's still recovering. Recovering? Did you hurt her? I swear if- No, no. Kika's drones did. Sparrow set all the prisoners free and fought the drones to protect them. She- she disobeyed my order. Disappointed she stopped your mass murder attempt? No. Not surprised she didn't have the stomach for it. More shocked she had the nerve to go against me. Impressive. Look, we can talk more about the details once we get out of here. We. There is no we. You are my enemy and that has not changed. Okay, I get you're pretty mad at me, but we need to work together on this. No, absolutely not. The only reason you still breathe is I have to keep playing the role of a good little brain-dead puppet for the moment. Once I figure out how to escape, I'll be coming for your first chance I get. So that's how it is, is it? Still want revenge? Always. I guess Heinz would approve, huh? You worm. Speak his name again and I'll- Swallow, come upstairs at once. I have a task for you. Uh. Looks like your master's calling. Don't want to keep her waiting. Shy self dish. This just keeps getting better and better. Darkness rising, shadows entwined, enemies at war. A twisted bind beneath the veil of night will unite. United by.